All right, let's go ahead and get into our question of the week. What classic video game deserves a modern remake? Uh, let's go right to our uh, some of our responses online. We have uh, Eternal Darkness, which is from the GameCube era, so mm. old school. Um, that be a, a, that's a blast from the past for me. Bloody Roar, which is from the PlayStation One days. Mm. That's an old one. And then uh, Dynasty Warriors. That one's from Thomas, and another one was oh, from okay. Sunbreaker. Dynasty Warriors. I wouldn't mind seeing an actual TV adaptation of that, honestly. But Ooh, that's yes. Remaking that into a full fledged with like the Unreal Engine Five massive frame rate beast like that, I'd be happy to yeah. see that too. Uh, yeah. uh, Squeaks, to start with you. What do you think, man? Uh, yeah, so I, I brought in this game up multiple times, and this is going back to the PS One days as well. Um, I'm going with Dino Crisis. Uh, nice. It's one of my oh, favorite games. One. I still own the first or the the first two on PlayStation One. And uh, what I can see of it being how to have it remade is essentially what they're doing already with Resident Evil. So this is a Capcom game. All they have yeah. to do is kind of um, instead of that, those camera angles running around like the old school Resident Evils, right? Like here's a camera in the hallway. You're like running, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Now we do it behind the back, right? You know, third person view. Uh, and especially the first one, you can make it really creepy. The second one's more uh, action packed, kind of like a Resident Evil 5 compared to a Resident Evil, let's say like two or one. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would love to see Regina back on the screen and just modern day graphics. I haven't thought about that you know, game in ages. Oh, yeah, man. I tried getting a cool. copy of Dino Crisis 3, which is they went above and beyond, which I could give them credit for doing something different. That one was like in space. Uh, mm -hmm. Copy is pretty expensive out there. Not too bad, but just you know, expensive enough to where I'm not going to re really revisit the game. It's more of a collection right? Yeah. <laughs> to add to it. So, um, yeah, definitely Dino Crisis 3. I'll always... It'll always be one of my favorite games ever that I've played. I'm going to go next. Uh, since you're on a dino, dino theme, I'll be on a dino theme as well. I want oh. Turok. I want Turok oh, okay, back. Okay, okay. Yeah, and it could totally go with the Doom formula, right? Now they got with that clean mm. looking Doom. We got the medieval Doom, which I just cannot wait for. And yeah, so hot. something like that. We're just randomly shooting dinosaurs and mutated dinosaurs. And we're mm. some cool dude that just gets dropped out of space. I never understood the story. I played all of them. Never understood that story. But yeah, I think that would be a lot of fun, <laughs> especially with today's graphics. I think that would be a beast. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, what do you got on yours? Uh, you know me. I'm always a Star Wars guy. It's a Star Wars game that got such little fanfare when it came out, but is like a cult hit today still. And that's Republic <laughs> yeah. Commando. Every, Ooh, Republic yeah, Commando I like, like that one. One yeah. of the right best. It's, yeah. it's probably the best Star Wars shooter, I would say. It, it, if it's not mm. the best, it's one of the best. But yeah. give it a little bit more of a multiplayer co-op like tactics yeah. thing to it. Yeah. I think it was single player at the time, and it did have that like Rainbow Six feel to it like Imperial Commando, make it like a sequel. Yeah. That'd be cool too. Yeah, I can the, the co-op would that. be badass. The co-op, I, I can see them doing the siege treatment too, where like you're breaching a fortress exactly. on Endor or something like that. Yeah. That'd, be really, that'd be really neat. 